target for one reason, one reason only. Let's cross our fingers that they have mixed 27. Let's make this a one store trip. Mm, let's see new hot wheels. Those are new new. Okay. That's not what we're here though. There we are. Let's see. Freshly stocked hot wheels. But what do we got? What do we got? Um mix 23. Looks like this is not going to be a one store trip after all. They got some mystery mutters. I got plenty of mystery mutters. I don't care for any more. I'll look through the Hot Wheels real quick and see what they got what they got there. But as far as the store goes, there's nothing. And I'm already seeing nothing. Mix 24, bad company. Seems like a pretty fresh restock too. No 27. Also that last Target had no Hot Wheels, like no good ones. Okay guys, hear me out. I am seeing progress. Target one had Mix 23, this one had Mix 24. That means the next one should have 25 or 27, who knows? But we're climbing mixes, okay? We're going to a couple, well, hopefully just one more Target. Whenever I find what we are looking for in this video, we will go home and, you know, to take a look at it. So that said, next Target. Here. Right, guys, I've never been to this Target. It's on the other side of town because there's only two Targets on this side of town. There's like eight on the other. I have a good feeling about this one. So let's see. Huh? Ooh, of course, the one Target I find things at, there are five people in the aisle, so was not going to record, but, um, other than nothing we got five out of the nine we're now missing avenger boogie van excalibur and the megalodon chase but i'm gonna take it got the 40th grave digger the monster mutt retro and then these three variants with summon digger dalmatian and dragon i will take it good thing i stopped at this target we're gonna go to a couple more though obviously because we haven't completed it all right i've never been to the last target we went to so never been to this target either or this side of town honestly of richmond so we're gonna check this one out since we had some luck at the last one let's pray all right, they got a lot of nothing. Just mix 22. Oh, jeez. This is another one I've never been to, like I said, but this one did not impress me like the last one. No Hot Wheels either. So I've been in this Target. I was just here a couple weeks ago, but I never find anything here. All right, what do we got? Mix 24. Tons of mystery mutters, but no Mix 27. So out of the last five targets we've been through, only one has got Mix 27. They're a little more full now. They're recovering pretty well, it looks like. No Mix 27. All right, target number, I don't even know anymore. Maybe six. This one's pretty small. It's been a mid target to me. We'll see what it holds today. Mm, dang, this is probably the worst one out of them all. Three mystery mutters, and that's all. Guys, this is literally target number six and there's still nothing like we have two more targets to go to eight targets tonight at least i think that's eight but this one's probably the worst of them all i take back the halfway decent things i just said about it okay, we're closing in on the final two targets tonight will we luck out one of the last two or are we just going to be taking home what we found at i think target number three we are about to find out see if this one has anything this one's like just like the last one's been pretty mid not necessarily good or awful to me lately so we'll see if it can change today so i had to stop recording because there was someone in the aisle like always but here's what we are dealing with here still nothing there's a couple of rages somehow still here i just checked on an end cap and they have that new glow in the dark batted to it if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll grab it and show you guys after i pick it up again pretty filled up other than the hot wheel section maybe they have that bad attitude here i still need that midwest madness uh the bad attitude's not here there's only one here i'll probably get that because that's actually kind of rare right now so i'll show you that when i get on the car but with that said no nah, last target here we come so here's the bad attitude not too bad so one more target it would make this whole trip worth it if the final target had all of the remaining trucks that we did not get at target number three but we got all those trucks in there ready to be taken home let's get it guys all right guys final target this is the target i was at i think five days ago this is the target i found the mystery matters at um this was the target that was like goaded back in like october found week after week mix 25 i think in two weeks they had three mix 25 drops when mix 25 was the mix to find so five days passed mix 27 starting to be found so maybe they are still on their game let's keep the same energy that they had back in october please oh there's another bad attitude just pick that up that wasn't there I didn't even bother recording. There was someone that in the aisle, of course, as it was just one person right in my way. And I don't want to look like a weirdo recording in front of him, but they had a bunch of mystery mutters. I bought the mystery mutters. I bought all of them from here the other day that they had, and they had like 12 again. So I'm not going to buy any more, but something to note. They had a lot, but no main lines. 
all the same from last time so let's go home and see what we got we are back home guys and then from this angle guys it looks like i have so much stuff to go through i got some jurassic world some trucks from christmas a second rage that place that i never did a review on i got that like mid-december so i guess we're never seeing that maybe in the future we got the bag of stuff here that we found today all the trucks that we found um we got six stuff technically you guys probably have an idea of all those things we're going to take them out of the box i'm not going to wait to get all of mix 27 to make a review video on it most people do that and i think that is a better idea but i like to keep you guys updated with fresh content not all store trips and in stores and you know whatever hunting nights and days can be 100 successful i think it was 50 percent successful tonight because we got five out of the nine of mix 27 but the four that we did not get are probably like the best four that's okay we're gonna stay positive first off we got this new attitude some of you guys may not even know this is like a thing yet but here is the newest monster truck glow in the dark die cast this is the attitude i still need that midwest madness i'm glad we have another chance to get that i still need that scorpedo as well i think those are the only two glow in the dark trucks that i need and then i have them all completed you would think i'd have them completed already because these have been out for like two years now but i've been getting them slowly i know there's no rush because they've been in stores forever and obviously they are coming back into stores but now I just need that midwest madness in the scorpedo but here it is we're gonna take this out of the package i love the the yellow in this this may be one of my favorites so let's take it out of the package and take a look at it um i just remember too i got the uh five pack of the glow in the dark trucks from christmas so i got that all the trucks in that five pack too those are all exclusives so i really only do need two more i should get those last two just to say i completed them all but i'm sure they're gonna keep coming out with some i don't mind like this they come out with one here and there that i have no problem getting but hopefully they don't come out with five to ten every you know release um but i can definitely keep up if they keep if they just make one or two new trucks a year from this series definitely have no problem with that so here's the bad two we have these greenish blue ears not the same shade of blue as the tires it's a lighter blue as you can see this neon yellow color on it with some pink and blue on it we have the wings kind of kind of like resembles dragonoid you have some blue designs um on the side of the wings black chassis a grayish storm eh, it's actually like a transparent grayish white roll cage yellow wheels blue tires like i said there's the bad too so now we have the five trucks from mix 27 that we found tonight we're gonna just start off this one's actually pretty cool the more i look at this variant of monster mud dalmatian the more i enjoy it i do like this it is kind of clean i love red wheels on this always looks good mouse my dimension can really sport the red wheels um i don't know how i feel about the red roll or the white roll cage but it doesn't look too bad but we're going to take this out of the package and take a look at it first off here is the back we have the world finals avenger split paint job the green and orange we have boogie van the dragon we have grave digger megalodon chase piece on uh, the monster mutt mercury son of a digger blue and excalibur so with that said let's take the monster mutt dimension out of package Okay, we got the car. Also, I would like to note that some people have found Mix 28 somehow in Target already. I think St. Louis, someone in St. Louis found it. And coming back to the Batitude real quick, just for a second, look at the look at the silhouette of the Batitude truck in the back. That's actually really cool. Props to Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for that. That That's a really cool touch. Maybe a little more uh, worth the uh, $6 and something cents that it was to buy that. So here's the Dalmatian white roll cage, the black chassis, the red wheels always complement. Like I said, the body itself is the same. It's just a variant, but I think that is very cool. So now we're going to take a look at the truck that I think we should have looked at first. Here's the dragon. We have a million dragon variants and this one isn't too special. So we should have looked at this first because I definitely prefer Dalmatian over dragon. And I try to do the least best trucks to the most more favorited trucks towards the end um, when we go to unbox them. But here's the dragon. Nonetheless, let's take it out of the package and take a quick look at it yellow barrel okay probably the worst accessory i do like the ramps and cars but the barrels what are you going to do with the barrel you have ramps in and show you have cars sometimes in, in shows not monster jam necessarily but you have crush cars and other shows you never see barrels so these are pretty much useless here's the dragon the orange wheels but we do have the bkt printing on it so that is a w i think the only other dragon that we've had bkts on i could be wrong easily wrong but it could just be the two chase pieces the showtime and the well just the chase pieces in general this could be the first main line with bkt printing on dragon but i highly doubt it um so don't don't quote me on that yellow chassis which is kind of weird i would have enjoyed this if it was just normal black chassis black roll cage or silver chassis whatever a normal color chassis with the bkts that would make it look a lot more clean but i don't like the yellow it does not uh complement it very well in my opinion but the dragon itself is normal orange wheels like i said again the orange wheels actually do look really good on dragon just like how the red looked good on dalmatian so now we have the better three i'd say Here's the first one out of the three of my favorite stuff tonight. Here's the Son of a Digger. I do like this one. So we got a blue Son of a Digger in the Creatures Pack. 
uh i think 2020 i believe but it was not the same color blue as this one i think that one was like a darker blue but here's a lighter blue and this is a mainline so there is differences and i know the darker blue didn't have like the all uh, the blue uh roll cage wheels child tires whatever but let's take this out of the package all right so we do have a purple car i have to give them props for that because that does look kind of cool with the truck um because you know the, it has the same color uh chassis so here's the son of a digger blue the blue actually does look really cool on it i do prefer the black i guess but this is still a pretty cool difference variant whatever um this is one that i can accept um pretty cool looking actually very very light blue it's a lot lighter in person i would say um especially the tires and wheel color like those are very very bright yeah there you go guys um there's not much more to talk about that so now we have the final two these are my absolute favorites these are a couple of my favorites of the whole case aside from you know the few that we did not get boogie van avenger excalibur um, but here it is, the Monster Mutt Mercury and the 40th anniversary Gravedigger. What should we open first? I think we should open the Gravedigger first because this one is actually probably my top, in my top three of the favorite of the mix. I'm so glad I found that tonight. Here is the 40th anniversary Gravedigger. There was only one of each of all of these there, I think. And then I think there was two Son of a Diggers, maybe even three of those Son of a Diggers. But um, I think there may have been another Dragon or Dalmatian too. But we basically cleared out everything that was left. So let's take the 40th anniversary Gravedigger out of the box. So back in November when I made my Mix 26 video, when I found like five out of nine of it, just like how I found five out of nine of Mix 27, I found five out, five out of the nine of Mix 26 in November at, at Kohl's and I got the 25th anniversary Gravedigger and now we have the 40th anniversary Gravedigger. Check this out. I love the BKT printing. BKT printing can never fail on Gravedigger or any trucks in general. I always say it. So here is the 40th logo on the side right there. Mainly the only difference on this whole truck. But you know what? Still pretty cool. A gray chassis. That's what they could have done with the Dragon. Even a gray chassis would have looked better than the yellow. I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, we have the 40th uh, tombstone on the top. And it says anniversary at the bottom there. With the Grim on, at the top. Or the skull, not Grim. Uh, the Gravedigger logo. It looks like a more fancier font for the Gravedigger logo. Same with on right here on the quarter panel i think they used a different type of font for the gravedigger logo definitely is different we have the flames of course normal so we got an actual different gravedigger for one sweet body wise and then the and then the green roll cage bkt's green wheels it's a pretty clean casting i can't i still need that gold 40th anniversary gravedigger that came in the playset i'm still dreading getting that because i don't want to spend 50 dollars on a playset just for that one truck i could care less about the garage playset or whatever but here is the final one they knocked it out of the park for this truck i cannot wait i know i always say that i try to avoid reviews of trucks until i get them so i can show you firsthand and give you my experience my initial reaction of opening these but i needed to see this truck on monster most of these video and i am this is this truck is perfection let's take it out of the box we even get the brown ramp which is appropriate because this truck is a tannish brown some parts are tan some parts are brown we have the lighter fur skin on the uh on the fenders right here the lighter fur whatever um the ears are rubber but they are textured as you can see same with the tail you can see the ridges in it same with the ears and you can see the collar is not 3d but i think that's how it was in real life i could be wrong i love the open piece in the back i'm not sure if the real life counterpart had it I honestly kind of forget but regardless it does not it doesn't look bad with the spin master variant like it kind of goes with it the front looks so good look at that that looks so cool the tongue's a little weird but you know it's not a big difference unless you're a die hard like monster jam nerd you're not going to really point out or really even care i don't really care it's still pretty cool the windshield's pretty cool the whiskers the ridges they're not 3d but um that is so sick the teeth the monster logo on the side gray chassis gray wheels black tires black roll cage sweet sweet truck there you go guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed so i am going to is friday night i'm going to to monster jam tomorrow in hampton saturday the saturday evening show but if you are a longer time viewer of my channel i'm just going to say this right now and especially if you were watching this the day of and especially like right as it come out right as it comes out i will probably be at the collectible store that i made a video at um i think in may or april a lot of people enjoyed that video there were hundreds and hundreds of old hot wheels monster jam trucks and spin master monster jam they had hot wheels monster trucks hot wheels monster jam spin everything hundreds and hundreds of trucks they still have some trucks and they are constantly getting more stuff in stock so i'm finally gonna go back there and see what i can pick up before we head over to monster jam that is like 20 minutes away from that shop so i will make a video there for sure and show you guys what they have with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and of course subscribe especially if you are new to the channel and you want more in-store videos and uh want me to keep on hunting for you guys i would appreciate the support with that said i'll see you guys in the next video peace out